Hello everyone, my name is Arush Kutella. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and welcome to our third video on data migration within the new Dynamics 365 operations. In our first video we looked at setting up data sources and in our second one we processed a simple upload. In this case we're going to look at exporting data and package uploads. These two are tied quite closely together as you'll see later on in the video. So, on my screen, you can see that I am within the Data Management Workspace, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the Export tool. Now, the Export tool looks very similar to the Import. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this Sales and Marketing Export Demo. Now, the first question I have is, what format do we want to export our data in? So, I'm just going to do Excel. And now, which entity am I looking to export? Now I'm going to keep this simple, so I'm going to do lead types and lead priorities. Alright, so these are my different lead types. Now, one of the advantages in the export tool in the new D365 is that you can export multiple entities at once. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take lead types, and I'm going to do select fields. And I'm going to pick only importable fields. The reason for this selection is that certain entities have fields that you can export but are not available in the resulting import. Since I'm going to try to re-import this data later, I'm going to only choose my importable fields. I also want to have this generate data package select to yes. I'm going to go ahead and add this entity. Now, what we can do is we can add multiple. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second one, which is going to be lead priorities. All right, same thing. I'm going to make this importable fields. And I'm going to go ahead and press Add Entity. One thing to note is that we have this entity sequence. And the entity sequence is important because this can then be used as to which order things will be exported and then re-imported in later. Now, in this scenario, lead types and lead priorities are not interdependent. So the order does not matter. However, one application of this would be to do something along the lines of sales tax setup. And in sales tax setup, you need to set up your sales tax authorities before you can set up your sales tax groups or codes. And in that case, the sequence would indeed matter. So it's always important to check and make sure you have the correct sequence. If you do need to alter it, you can simply select one and then hit either this up or down arrow. All right. So now the first thing I'm going to show you is what happens when I click this download button. All right. I'm going to go ahead and open the download. I'm not going to save this. What this does is it gives me a zip file with my two Excel files and these two XML files which will detail the sequence that things need to be loaded in. If I open up lead priorities, you can see that what has happened is that this is an export of a blank template. This is extremely useful when you're doing your first ever migration. These can be handed over to SMEs or to the client and then they can populate these and return them to you for your first time load. You can remove fields as needed if some of them will not be part of your migration. But this is great as it gives you a template with the correct header names so that that can be handed out. You can see that the same has been done for the lead types. We now have a blank Excel file. Okay, but this is not what I want to show you, so I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Now I'm going to go ahead and press this export button. Close this. And you can see we have our completed export. We successfully exported four lead priorities and seven lead types. If I refresh, you can see I have my check marks. Now what I can do is I'm going to say download package. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. All right, so let's go ahead and hit open. And now we have the same thing as we did before. If we open up a lead, we'll see this actually has the data as of the USMF company. So then I actually have the data as needed. This was moved into my downloads. I'm just going to move this onto my desktop. Okay, so that is my export functionality. Now what I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to go into a different company called USP2. And if we quickly look in our sales and marketing module, we'll see that under leads, our lead types is blank, as are our priorities. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to import that. So let's go back into data management. Now I want to go into import. 
and I'll say sales and marketing input. My source data format, and now this is important, will be package. All right, as you can see, entity name is gone because this will not all come from the package that I say. So I'm going to upload. I'm going to go into my into my desktop and pick the file that I did. As you can see, my lead priorities and lead types have indeed been generated. You can look at my entity sequence. You can see this here. This picked up from those XML files. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and import like I did last time. I will close this and we can see we have our four and seven. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh. Let's see, we've successfully done that here. And now just finally to take a look, we can go back into sales and marketing. And you can see our lead types have been generated as well as our priorities. And so that is the export and package import. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of your day.